Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Blackbird Bulletin. I'm Kyle Turner with LIUathletics.com. Let's get to it. On Tuesday, the three-time defending Northeast Conference champion men's basketball team traveled to famed Assembly Hall to take on the 23rd ranked Indiana Hoosiers. And the Blackbirds put up quite a fight in this one. After falling behind 10-4 in the early going, this three-pointer by junior Troy Joseph ignited a 14-0 run that gave the Blackbirds an eight-point lead. Joseph finished the game with a team-high 16 points. And then here's another trifecta, this one from junior Gilbert Parga. Parga closed with 15 points on the night. LIU's lead was trimmed to one near the end of the opening period, but senior point guard Jason Brickman set up an easy layup for junior Chris Carter to give LIU Brooklyn a three-point advantage heading into halftime. The two teams traded baskets to begin the second half, and now EJ must stand for an emphatic jam because look at this two-handed slam by sophomore EJ Reed. He gets fouled and puts the Blackbirds back up by three. The contest remained close into the final minutes with LIU up by one and just over six minutes remaining, Reed struck again tomahawking a dunk over Indiana 6'11 center Luke Fisher to push the Blackbirds up by three. The Hoosiers tied the game with 3.30 on the clock with a three-pointer, but LIU continued to answer every big Indiana shot with one of its own. As Parga connects from long distance there, the LIU bench goes nuts for that one. Two free throws from Brickman pulled LIU to within one, and the All-America candidate who finished with 11 points and 11 assists would have two shots to give the Blackbirds the win, but just missed on both as LIU Brooklyn falls by one point to the reigning Big Ten champions. The volleyball team continued their pursuit of perfection within the Northeast Conference this weekend, starting with a match against the second place Blue Devils of Central Connecticut State on Saturday. The Blackbirds took care of business in New Britain, earning a 3-0 win behind 18 kills from junior Annika Foyt. Senior Jessica Rice had a match high seven blocks as the Blackbirds clinched the number one seed for the NEC tournament. Then on Sunday, LIU finished the regular season with a perfect league record for the second straight year after a sweep of Bryant. Sophomore Sydney Asuncion led the Blackbirds offensively with seven kills, while sophomore Mirjana Rajic and freshman Sandy Zhao each had three blocks in the match for the Blackbirds. The bowling team was one of just four teams to finish with 10 victories en route to a 10-2 record this weekend at the UMES Hawk Classic. The Blackbirds, ranked 16th in the nation, closed out the tournament with victories over number 11 Adelphi in six games and number 15 Norfolk State also in six games. They returned to action on December 7th for the second NEC meet of the year hosted by Sacred Heart. Women's basketball traveled to New Jersey on Thursday for a game with Ryder. Senior Cleandra Roberts continued her strong early season play with 16 points and 16 rebounds for the double-double, but the Blackbirds ultimately dropped a 62-48 decision. Senior Fanny Cavallo and junior Latapa Whippy each had 10 points apiece in the contest. And in volleyball, sophomore Adriana Venus Joy was named the Molten NEC Defensive Player of the Week. Venus Joy led the Blackbird backcourt with 25 digs in two NEC victories this past weekend registering 17 of those digs on Sunday against Bryant, which marked the 15th match in which Venus Joy has recorded 15 or more digs. And junior Annika Foyt was named the Molten NEC Player of the Week for the fifth time this season. The reigning NEC Player of the Year recorded 22 kills in two matches, averaging 4.4 kills per set to help LIU Brooklyn clinch its third straight regular season NEC title. And here's a look at what's happening around LIU Athletics in the next week. The women's volleyball team earned the right to host the NEC tournament for the third straight year beginning on Saturday, November 23rd. Central Connecticut, Robert Morris, and Sacred Heart will all participate in the two-day event at the Steinberg Wellness Center. Women's basketball hosts a pair of games this week at the Steinberg Wellness Center. First, NJIT on Wednesday night before the main Black Bears come to town on Friday. And men's basketball travels to Irvine, California for three games this weekend as part of the 2K Sports Classic benefiting Wounded Warrior Project. That's all we have for this installment of the Blackbird Bulletin. We'll be back next week with more winter sports news and highlights as we wrap up the fall sports with the NEC Volleyball Tournament this weekend. I'm Kyle Turner with LIUathletics.com, and as always, keep flying high!